Yeah, we are live. Yeah, we are live now. Okay. okay. Uh, our next presenter is Ms. Sonia Manalova, Product Director, Apparels and Foodwear Segment Coats, a gold, gold partner for the event. Sonia is a part of the Coats Apparel and Foodwear Global Leadership Team. She is a subject matter expertise and industry veteran in the field of sustainability and innovation in threats. Today, Ms. Sonia will be presenting on Coats Eco Journey, working towards achieving a full circular sustainable world in textiles. Over to you, Ms. Sonia. Thanks. Thank you, Chelsea. So, hi, everyone. Um, let me just tell you quotes, what Coats Eco Journey is. Um, so our Eco Journey is a roadmap uh, to develop and to launch uh, sustainable solutions to support uh, uh, the customers, to support the sustainability agendas of our customers. We started this journey back in 2018 when we launched uh, we Eco Verde range. This is 100% uh, threads from 100% recycled polyester. And now we are moving towards uh, uh, more sustainable solutions and full circularity uh, and sustainable worlds. So we are going to launch uh, three additional products later this year. That's Eco Region, Eco B and Eco Cycle. So let me just start with our Eco, Eco Verde uh, product range. As I said, uh, we already launched Eco Verde. This is 100% uh, recycled polyester. We have uh, on the left side here our threads, uh, and we have different threads in recycled polyester, like Corspan, uh, Epico, Dio Duty Eco Verde, or Texture and Microfilament, like Simsoft Eco Verde, and also Embroidery uh, Silco Eco Verde. In addition to our threads, uh, we do have some zips and trims also part of our Ecoverde family. So our Ecoverde is GRS certified product. Uh, um, we are, in terms of performance, in terms of look and the feel of the products, they are exactly the same as any, uh, any virgin uh, polyester product. All of those products, they are GRS certified, uh, and we are aiming to convert uh, our premium polyester thread uh, to 100% recycled polyester by 2024. So we know that uh, the positive impact on the environment by producing uh, recycled polyester compared to virgin poly polyester. So just the carbon dioxide uh, uh, is fewer by 40%, for example, or energy uh, consumption is 67% uh, less when uh, uh, recycled polyester is produced versus virgin. So let me just uh, show you a video, very short video on this. our first step uh, towards sustainability and uh, first step as part of this eco journey as part of code eco journey we developed and we are ready to launch another product eco region um, this is going to be launched in may in few weeks time and uh, eco region is a cellulosic renewable fibers and uh, to support natural material programs and collections 
Uh, another product is uh, uh, Epic EcoB, and that's um, with added additive that's uh, reducing mic microfiber pollution um, that would be disposed in ocean or landfill. And then moving towards the full circularity concept, that's our EcoCycle. Uh, EcoCycle is a water dissolvable thread that facilitates garment recycling and end-to-end -end circularity process. I'm going to tell a little bit more about each of those products. So EcoRegion Eco is going to be launched very shortly in a few weeks' time, and Epic, uh, EcoB and EcoCycle are going to be launched later this year. So to give you just a little bit of, uh, uh, of uh, information about EcoRegion, it's a 100% uh, live cell thread, um, which is made from the wood pulp, sourced from sustainably managed forests. Uh, Eco-friendly, regenerated fiber, and this uh, can be recycled, it's a recyclable. It's a fully biodegradable and composable. It's a cellulosic uh, uh, fiber, um, and uh, because of this, it's, uh, it fully biodegrades. Just in comparison to cotton, for example, I put here that it doesn't require any irrigation, so it's much more sustainable. No pesticides or labor-intensive process um, like cotton uh, during its cultivation. And in fact, it has, uh, Lyocell has the highest dry and wet strength uh, amongst all the cellulosic fibers. Um, so it's a nature-based fiber and it's um, with, with superior elongation. Um, so it's very soft uh, and uh, it's ideal for next to skin applications. We have it available in different sizes from very fine to very coarse sizes. Uh, and, and it is suitable for a variety of apparel applications. I put here some of the, those applications like at leisure, sportswear, dress, pants, etc. In fact, it's suitable for most apparel applications. However, as any nature of fiber, uh, there are some challenges and constraints in, um, uh, in terms of abrasion resistance and strength. Um, and uh, for some of the, the heavy duty denim wash programs or aggressive wash programs, uh, uh, the, this eco region, it's, um, you know, it's not recommended uh, if, uh, if there's any um, aggressive wash uh, uh, process. For those uh, denim uh, programs and also going forward for any footwear application, we are developing uh, a different coating. Uh, this different coating uh, uh, will improve the abrasion resistance and also will uh, uh, improve the strength of this product. Uh, so it's going to be part of EcoRegion family for those uh, uh, heavy duty uh, denim uh, applications. Uh, EcoB, uh, part of the, the Eco journey. EcoB is uh, recycled polyester, but uh, we, this recycled polyester with, is with an additive that reduces uh, synthetic fiber accumulation in landfill and microfiber pollution in the oceans. To tell in the very short way, uh, let's say this, this product is with an additive that um, um, makes the synthetic to behave in the same way as any nature of fiber like wool, for example, when it goes for, for disposal. Uh, we've developed in different sizes. Initially, we started with some core sizes, uh, uh, but now we are developing uh, finer sizes and this product will be commercialized later this year. And now moving towards uh, the water dissolvable thread uh, or, uh, or moving towards the full circularity concept. So EcoCycle is a range of water dissolvable threads. And these water dissolvable threads allow the garment to be disassembled at the end of its life. So during the life cycle of a garment, um, the, the seam is durable and it's uh, is strong. Uh, um, but when this garment is ready to go to, to be recycled uh, and to be converted into something different, there is a, a special washing process. Is special, uh, so it's not difficult, but it's a special washing process to allow the the, the seam to let's say be uh, dissolved. And you can see here how easy once uh, this garment or this product goes through, through special washing process, you can see how easy the 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 seam can be broken and then all the parts in the garment can be uh, separated so you can remove for example any label any button any zip uh, uh, and then uh, this uh, garment uh, can go to be either uh, upcycling or recycling etc um, it's a fantastic, it's a, this is closing the loop uh, circularity concept uh, um, to keep the garment uh, 
together the pieces of the garment together to be strong and durable during the life the life cycle of the garment and then to, to have a way to disassemble and recycle the garment and remove the incap incompatible materials uh, when this uh, uh, this product is ready uh, ready for for disposal so uh, this product is going to be commercialized later this year. We have it uh, again. It's available in different sizes uh, to uh, to to uh, to fit into different uh, apparel applications, from very fine to very coarse sizes. Here uh, you can see, and uh, again, there is, there should be a very special wash process in order to acti activate the dissolvability. Again, it's not a difficult process, but it's a special because you don't want the garment, let's say. To, to fall apart during the intended life of, of this garment. Um, so our eco journey is we started with uh, with threads uh, and also I mentioned that in our eco wear the range we have also zips and trims and uh, we have also yarns uh, as part of our eco journey. Um, we develop uh, different two different yarns for knitting and weaving, and those yarns they are part of uh, uh, of uh, the sustainability agenda to help the customer uh, to fit into the customer sustainability strategies. So two different products uh, we have uh, coats knit Eco H. Uh, that's a, that's a hemp blend with uh, lyocell. So we, we all know that uh, hemp itself, uh, you won't be able to produce a yarn just uh, from hemp. It's rigid, uh, it's very difficult uh, uh, for production. Uh, it's uh, very uneven, uh, but it's a fantastic product. And a uh, lot of uh, customers, uh, uh, they want to use hemp in their garments. Uh, so we mix it hemp with lyocell. We blend it together in order to make uh, a suitable yarn for different applications uh, uh, for knitting and weaving from uh, apparel to footwear. Uh, as I mentioned before, when when I talked about our threads and eco region, I mentioned that it's uh, sustainable. It doesn't uh, does does um, doesn't require any pesticides uh, or toxic chemical. Use less water uh, to grow compared to to cotton uh, and hemp as a, as a fiber. Probably that's the reason so many uh, customers want to use. It's a breathable. It's warm. Uh, it's antibacterial by nature. Um, so it's a fantastic product, uh, but uh, it's difficult to be by itself. So it, it has to go to be blended with something different. So that's Eco H. Um, and then another product, which is uh, again is yarn for knitting and weaving, that Eco S. So Eco S is uh, again is a blended version of lyocell plus uh, soya bean protein fiber. So, so the soybean protein fiber, uh, just to, to to explain, it's not coming. Let's say that's not the that's coming from the uh, from the leftovers, uh, from the by byproduct. So it's not the fiber itself. It's not coming from the food, but it's coming from whatever is left over from the food, and from the oil and to tofu, soya milk, etc. Again, as uh, the previous uh, uh, hemp and lyocell, the soya bean protein fiber plus lyocell, it's a renewable, um, it's a sustainable, it's natural, it's, uh, it's coming from plant. Uh, it has uh, the soya bean itself is very soft and, uh, and smooth. Um, though there is no any hazard to the environment, it's fully, fully biodegradable. Uh, again, it's nature. Also, it's soft, smooth, light, dry, comfortable for for um, any any either apparel or footwear applications. And again, we have all those yarns in in different sizes uh, uh, to fit into into different applications. So, in a nutshell, that's the our that's our coats eco journey. Uh, we started, let's say, with uh, our recycled offer. Now we are expanding uh, the offer to different products to fit into the uh, different sustainability strategy of our customers, either for natural garments and pro and uh, programs uh, with the eco region, with the lyocell threads, uh, or with uh, some uh, uh, programs where polyester is required, but. Uh, uh, polyester with an additive that makes it uh, to uh, behave as any as any uh, natural fiber like wool, for example, I, I've mentioned. And then also the eco cycle. The eco cycle it's uh, this is the circularity, the end to end, uh, the closed loop uh, solution when the garment can be uh, disassembled and can be uh, the pull apart in order to be converted into into different uh, product. Uh, 
And then at the end, uh, finally, let's say the last but not least, our uh, RIAs also to support uh, uh, this eco journey and to support uh, our um, customer sustainable strategies. So, uh, happy to answer any question. That was in a very short um, uh, way to present our eco journey. Sorry, my dog is happy with the <laughs> it's, uh, with the eco journey. It's uh, difficult working from home and then managing everything. So, Chelsea, happy to answer any question. Let me just open. I can't see the screen now. Let me just open. Uh, uh, yes, Ms. Sonia, yes. Uh, so, delegates, if you have any questions, you can just raise your questions here. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Sonia, we have a question from Ms. Mamta. Does COTS conduct knowledge sharing workshops or sessions on GRS certificate or shareable industry knowledge? Yes, we can do this. Yes, we can share knowledge on our GRS. Uh, we've been part of GRS since we started the journey with Eco Verde. We can have, uh, please get in touch with our colleagues uh, um, in codes in India, and then we can organize uh, a session. More than happy to do that. Yeah, next question is like, what is that special washing process that helps the recycling? Okay, the special washing process is uh, we need uh, to have uh, uh, more than 95 degrees washing cycle in order to create the dissolvability. So if any of you is interested, because this is uh, uh, still, let's say, uh, we are going to launch later this year, but if any of you is interested, uh, again, please get in touch with us. Uh, we can sign a very simple NDN. We can share all the details around the washing process, uh, the washing guidance. Uh, we can share all the details under NDA. But in fact, it's we need to have a more than 95 degrees washing cycle in, uh, in 30 minutes in order to activate the dissolvability. And this is also to ensure that uh, during the normal wash process in domestic condition up to 60, 70, the seam is not impacted. So we've done a lot of tests and a lot of trials that up to 50 washes or up to 60 washes, there is no any impact on the seam if you wash in a domestic condition or if you iron the garment, for example, there is no impact on the seam during the normal lifespan of the garment. So you need to have this washing process at more than 95 degrees in order to activate the dissolvability. Yeah, next question is, like, it's great to see your Echo Journey. I want to know how are you maintaining these many products in Echo Journey? How are your teams taking care of mix-ups, if any? It's from Mr. Rajesh. How, how my team is, uh, sorry, can you, uh, sorry, Chelsea, can you say the last part? How my team is? Yeah, how are your team teams taking care of mix-ups, if any? So we can't mix it because it's uh, each of those products, it goes with certain, uh, uh, let's say, certain nomenclature like article ticket and bill of materials. And each of those products go with uh, certain uh, great threat. Uh, if it is, for example, either recycled polyester or eco region with lyocell or the, the, the eco cycle. So we can't mix it uh, because it's uh, it's with unique identif identification in our world is called out article ticket. And for example, the GRS certification, the GRS certification and the traceability, the transparency, everything is based on uh, on this unique article ticket starting from the yarn, going to the great thread, producing the finished goods for tying and finishing, etc. And it goes with all the traceability of each state, stage with a different identif identification as article ticket, either for the finished goods or either for the great thread or the yarn, etc. Uh, next question is Ms. from Mr. Ms. Harshita. The presentation video mentioned that pet bottles are recycled in polyester filaments. So are there any chains for the same in India? No, there's no any change for the same in India. There's nothing, uh, sorry, I, uh, you break a little bit, so I, I didn't hear all the questions, but there's no change in India. Okay. Let me let me just uh, mention that the last bottles are ah, sorry, the last PT bottles are recycled in polyester. Are there any cha chains for the same in India? So, okay, so 
uh, in fact, yes, in fact, our our echo verde range, uh, range comes from PT bottles. All the threads, they come from the PT bottles. Uh, in fact, we need to have a very high tenacity um, in the in the yarn in order to achieve, let's say, the strength, uh, the, uh, the all the characteristic, the parameters, and also to have uh, the brightness of the yarn should be very high in order to have it from very light and pale shades to very dark shades. So currently, only the filament coming from the PT bottles is able to meet our requirements. That's the reason we're using PT bottles. Of course, we are doing a lots of uh, a lots of uh, trials with uh, uh, some recycled textiles, but unfortunately, recycled textiles, the, the performance is not uh, so high compared to the bottles. And the bottles themselves, uh, they don't come from India. No, they're coming from Japan. All the bottles, they're coming from Japan. So if the customers they buy let's say eco verde we can provide this full traceability they can see from the from the bottle to the thread but all the bottles they come from japan currently okay any any more questions uh, yeah uh, from mr rohit agarwal there's a question like how can how can we set up a pet recycling plant in india to manufacture polyester fiber so to be honest we are buying the fiber and the filament we are not producing the fiber and the filament so i can't uh, we we if, if anyone is interested uh, we we can get we, you in touch with our uh, partners uh, to answer that question i can't answer we are buying the fiber and the filament uh, and we are producing uh, let's say everything else from great thread to finish goods etc Yeah. Uh, again, yeah. when we mentioned bottles comes from Japan to India, allowed importing PETs comes again. I can't uh, so we are not in importing the PT bottles by ourselves. Uh, our partners they are uh, is, let's say they are converting from PT bottles to chips, from chips to yarns, etc., etc. This tra traceability and transparency is clear uh, as part of GRS, but we are not producing uh, uh, the PT, let's say, from PT bottles. We are producing from the recycled yarns to great thread, etc. But again, if uh, any of you is interested to know about more about this process, we can organize some uh, seminar on this and we can also get you in touch uh, if our partners, they are happy to help, we can get you in touch with our partners to explain all this. I can't answer this. Uh, there's another question from Ms. Mamta. Yeah, also, does, also mm -hmm. does Sports as a leader in textile industry incubate or collaborate with small business? Yes, of course. We are, we've been collaborating with small businesses everywhere. And we are also, as part of our sustainability, I'm just presenting here a small part of our sustainability agenda in terms of uh, uh, threads and yarns and products to support us, the sustainability agenda of our customers. But we are working on a very different on energy, water. We are also working with small partners uh, in terms of uh, how, to, how to recycle all the plastics, uh, um, with uh, how to have more sustainable in terms of uh, getting back uh, the supports, the costs, etc. Yes, of course, we are we are we are collaborating with small partners. Yes. I think that's it from the delegate side, Ms. Sonia. Okay, Chelsea, I'm uh, more than happy to get more questions. You can share my details, my email address. Uh, I'm more than happy to uh, to answer any more question. And then if anyone is interested in either any of the products or have questions, we can get in touch with our colleagues in, in, in India and uh, we can uh, collaborate together. Yes, Ms. Sonia, that will be grateful. Yeah, I'll just, if there is any more questions, I'll just uh, inform you and I'll just mail you the details. I'll also drop your email ID here. So if anyone wants to get in touch with you, they can just drop your email okay thank you very thank much thank yeah, you thank you Ms. Sonia. yeah thank you thank you bye